My name is Tom Perloff and this is my assistive technology presentation. First thing I wanted to talk about are some different types of communication forms of assistive technology. One high tech form is Proloquo 2 Go, very popular, comes from assistiveware. You can buy it on the App Store. The cost is about $250 for basic pack, $300 for an essential pack. Description of it is that there's about a 10,000 word customizable vocabulary, customizable organization, designed for a variety of fine and gross motor skills, designed for kids, teens, as well as adults. Here's a screenshot of it. There's a video that I have included in my presentation. I'm not going to show it right now for time purposes, but it's a great demonstration of how to use it. Second type of high tech is GoTalk. GoTalk can be bought in Spectronics in Australia. The cost is between $350 and $400. Description of it is that there's about 105 messages. It's designed for kids with a variety of fine and gross motor skills, variety of formats, tablets, watches, etc., etc., etc. Here is a screenshot of it. I have included a video once again. I'm not going to show the video right now for time purpose, but there's, there's a video tutorial that is located inside of this presentation. Sorry that there, that appeared. I'm having some technical recording challenges today. Low tech types of communication or PEX communication book. You can find that at Pyramid Education Technology. The cost is around $85. Description of it is that there's picture icons. Icons can be placed in Velcro strips to complete sentences. Icons could also be stored in a pouch. There is a screenshot of it. Once again, I'm having odd computer issues, so I'm just going to delete as I go across. Here's a video of people using it. Not going to show you the video once again because of the time limitations. Uh, low tech is a picture board. Basics of the picture board is you can get pyramid educational technology. Could be a source of picture boards are free. And the description is that you can complete as many picture items as desired and put it in a book. Here is a screenshot of it. Second thing I want to talk about are academics. Once again, you got the color things that appear when you least expect it. High tech. Live Scribe. The basics are that you can buy it at LiveScribe.com. The cost is about $40, not $4.009, $40.09 to $219. Description of it, that the pen can be used to capture images as well as text. It's compatible with Android, Windows, as well as Mac. Here's a screenshot of it. And there is a video that I have included for people to use later if they had wanted to go back, look at it themselves. You could buy it at AH, short for Amazon. The cost is $4.19. The link is accurate. A second type of high tech is a Lucid Chart. Lucid Charts can be bought of all places. LucidChart.com. Cost of it is free. It's a remote electronic whiteboard to be used for collaboration. Here's a screenshot of it. There's a video tutorial of it. A couple of low tech for academics are an adaptive pencil. You can buy them at Amazon. Cost is at $4.19. They're good for grips. They come in a variety of shapes and sizes. Here is a screenshot of it. Here is a tutorial of somebody using a pencil. Another low tech is lined paper. Great source is Amazon. Cost is $18.79. Description is that the paper can be used to help with sizing as well as letter formation. There is a screenshot of it. Finally, last area is transitions. 
High tech would be an online timer. Basic says that you can get it from online timer. It's a website. The cost is free. It's a simple way to use a timer to time various activities and it can help with transitioning. There is a screenshot of it. High tech. Another one is calendar. Lots of calendars available. This one I happen to like on the iOS web app, web app store. The cost is free. Description, you know, it's an app that can easily help with scheduling. Here is a picture of what it looks like. Finally, a couple of low-tech ones will be a visual checklist. You can make them at home. The cost is free. Description is that it's a picture checklist reminding people of what to do. Another one is just your handy dandy timer. This should actually be there. So we're good. Okay, with a low-tech timer. Basics are that you can buy it at Amazon.com. Cost is $11.79. It's just a regular timer to remind people how long activities are. Here is a screenshot of it. And what it can be used for was just keeping track of how long things take. This is Tom Perloff with an extremely funky AT presentation.